If you're with your family, your class to need See the mission that I'm on, you can't compete Who came before me or after me I repeat You, you. Yo, yo. What's good, Whispers, my guy? Appreciate you pulling up. The one and only. How are you keeping, my guy? I'm good, man. How are you? How you doing? No, I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks, man. I appreciate you pulling up and welcome to the TMR podcast. You get me? You already know it's long overdue. You know what I'm saying? Long overdue. But we're here still. You get me? Freshly after Jerry West battle. How are you feeling since that battle, man? How you been feeling? Oh, I've been feeling good, man. I put him in a spliff, so you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It was pretty... mm-hmm. You look like you're about to roll at that Jerry Pack right now, still. Yeah, man, I'm smoking on that that West Pack right here. You feel uh-huh. me? Uh huh. Uh huh. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. So for those that know, know my guy, let the people know where you're from, still. Um, my name's Whispers. I'm from West London. You know what I'm saying? I'm a battle rapper. Been battle rapping for about three years, but I've been watching battle rap for about fifteen years. So okay, okay. So you say you've been uh, watching battle rap for fifteen years. So what inspired you then to start battle rapping? Um, because when I first was watching battle rap, I was mm-hmm. into like spoken word, poetry, acting, performance. But then, like, when I started watching Battle Rap, it was like I found it to be the best use of all of those things put together. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So you say he's into spoken word and poetry. Now, is that something that you used to do back in the day or something like something in school or something? Um, for about five years between school and college, right. I was doing spoken word and poetry and, like, theatre. That sort of stuff. Right, right, right. And that's lit. That's lit. So what, what made you even get into that? Like what made you have a passion for that? Um, I love to I love to read. That, okay. That's probably where it all starts. I fucking I love to read. I like to write, but that was born from reading. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So was you making music first before you was battling, or did you get straight into battling from the spoken word and that? Um I was into battling from time and time ago like watching it right but right. i didn't decide to do it until in the last five years but I've, i made music like six seven eight years ago so technically music came first okay okay of- right right so when you decided to start battling how what was the first lead that you ended up on um so basically during covid right um where obviously everyone was stuck at home on their phones there was this league on instagram that my friend forwarded me but it was american right and i just thought you know what this is probably the best way to find out if i'm really as good as i think i am without embarrassing myself too much if i'm not that good Right, right. Um, right. and then throughout the duration of COVID, I was battling on Instagram over about two or three leagues, and I, I think I lost one battle in about twenty-five battles. Mm. I lo- and that was my very first one, the very, very right. first one. Very, I lost. very first one. All right. So then, ah, uh, so from there, then, yeah. How did you get into like doing outside? Like, how did that come about? So a lot of the um, people that I spoke to online said that my strongest attribute was performance. Right. So I was like, if that's my strongest attribute, I probably have a good chance of translating well off the phone. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I, I was looking around. Originally, the first place that I was ever set in stone to battle was actually America. Oh, okay. that's, that's, that's where my contacts were from initially from Instagram. Right. They're all American. So right. I was looking at um a couple of them on iBattle and mm-hmm. one of my friends in that like um group, he owned his own league as well. Right. So that's where originally, originally I was gonna battle, but then because COVID had stopped, but it wasn't like a hundred percent 
Do you know what I mean? That you could travel and stuff. Right. So I ended up battling in the UK first. Right. Okay. So what league was that on? Uh, no loose chat. Oh, salute to no loose chat. Salute to Snoot. Salute to Paz. Now that's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah. So how did that come about? How did you get to link up with Snoop and that? So I had a, I had a friend. Um, well, I had loads of friends on the on the American side, but right. one of them knew this woman called Modern, who's she's not really a popular person, but she in and around battle rap in America, everyone knows her. She's like at events. She's like supportive of the culture and stuff like that. And she knew, I don't know how, because I'm the one in London, but she knew London Jen. Oh, okay. Yeah, shout out to so, London Jen. And then London Jen told me about No Loose Chat and the rest was history. Okay, okay. So who was your first battle on No Loose Chat then? My first battle was a guy called Zach. Um, okay, yeah, Zach. Mm hmm yeah, he got absolutely destroyed. I felt mm. bad for him that day. <laughs> he got absolutely destroyed. Mm. Nah, that's was... crazy. That's crazy. So, say 30, yeah? Dirty 30, is that you're telling me? Um, I lost one round in that whole tournament. Oh, it was a tourney, yeah? Yeah, it was a tournament. That was the first round. All of the okay. battles were three-round battles. I lost one round for the whole tournament. Uh, okay, so... After that, then who did you battle after that? Then I battled, was... I battled Zach first. The next stage was Cobra, then Benny P, and then Kick Nelly in the finals. Okay, so you say you did win that, yeah? Yeah, I won the tournament, didn't it? You won the tourney. All right, yeah. all right, all right. So you said the no lose ch um, ch chat champ, yeah? All right, all right, then all right. So, which one of them do you feel like was your hardest battle then? Out of the tournament, out of the three? Um, the second one. Okay. The second one. Because I made such an impression in the first round mm -hmm. that the, the initial response for most people is, is that a one-off? Can you do that again? Is it that good because he's the first time that we've seen him? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the second time I had like a lot of... I wouldn't say too much pressure because it was it was like a start out tournament, but like right. out of four battles, that was the hardest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, all right, all right, all right. So you won the tourney. So then from there, who was the first battle then for you off of the tourney? Um, and this this is where I I always say that I, I jumped in. I jump into the fire, bro. Mm -hmm. After that tournament. I took unanimous straight away within mm -hmm. about a month and a half of finishing a tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was on big stage too. Yeah, that battle was crazy. But so, how did you find that battle? How was that battle for you? Um, uh, it was a good battle, difficult battle. Um, I learned what I, I proved to myself. I feel like I can handle the pressure of standing in front of someone that the crowd prefers. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because you can't, you, you can win a crowd, you can get mm. crowd reaction, but going into a battle, usually the crowd knows and prefers one person more. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm -hmm. And he, they prefer him a lot because he's been here for over 10 years right. performing at a high level. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so how was it before you hit the stage up with that Yunnan battle? Because I'm assuming that would have been, obviously, the biggest battle of your career at that moment. You know what I mean? All them amount of people, like you said. So how was it you know, before you hit the stage? Was the nerves kicking in? Um, No, I don't get um, nervous. I don't get nervous before performances. That, that, right. But I do for performances, but not battle rap, strangely enough. I don't get okay. nervous. Okay. Um, I feel like... I was just ready to go. It's I've, I've performed in front of that many people before, mm -hmm. but not battle rap. So it was exciting to perform like that in front of 200 odd people for battle rap purposes. And it was good at that point. I think in my career, I needed to have a close battle because all of right. my battles up to that point were just complete and utter destruction. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. He put up a, he put up a very respectable account of himself. And it was Battle of the Night as well. Right, right, right. But, okay, so, yeah, man saw the battle, but man didn't see 
uh, any props. Allegedly, you had some props in that battle, right? So, so that's why I was wondering, like, what made you bring props into the battle or use props in the battle? Um, of that Yunnan battle. Mainly, it was just I was just trying to think outside uh, the box. I do believe the battle rap in the UK lacks a little bit of that. Like yeah. um, a lot of people were very good turning up on time, turning up on the right day and rapping. But when you're behind another nation like America, right. we, I feel like we need to think a bit more outside because they're the ones that think outside the box more than us and they're already yeah. ahead. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I didn't get it. I didn't get it right. I'm not going to lie about that. I didn't get it right. But that, mm -hmm. that was the thought process. Like, how can I make this battle something that's going to be viewed 10K times mm -hmm. or 100K times? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't say you didn't get it right. But to me, that, that's that's a way to get the 100. That's the way to get the 100K still. You get me? Because, yeah, that's a mother still. That's a mother. So, yeah, definitely a way to get 100K. You know what I mean? But that's for sure. So, mm -hmm. Have, have let, let, let's get into this. So, you see, like, okay, how many them are black, right? So, have anyone ever been, especially like the general public, has a man, has anyone ever been like surprised when they hear you talk? Because to me, you talk very smart. You get me very, um, yeah. You get me very, yeah. Like, but obviously, man, them look at you, know, man, them feel like, yeah, get me, man, don't talk that way. So when you talk to people do you as you ever people ever said anything about that before ever being shocked by the way you um speak or anything um as, as, i don't know if they do they don't say it to me not a lot right. of people have said it to me but i right. do get sometimes there's like a parody of how i speak the words that i use and stuff like that from right. day to day but right. i always stress that i'm from the same place i just I, like i said i read a lot of classic English literature of, of, of my right. own choice when I was younger. Right. So naturally, that's where my language has, a do you know what I mean? Right. Geared towards, do you know what I mean? Right. But, right. Well, no, but I'm letting you know, I respect that from commend you. Yeah. You know what it's like for us black men from in this world. For me. Man, them can't talk good. You know, man, them can't get, you get me places where man want to get to. You get me? And you know, people are very stereotypical too. You get me? So man, them can see man and think well, one way, but when man, them open up their mouth, now, it's a whole different way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I definitely respect that. And even to me, like when you battle, you get me, you, you battle with so much aggression. Like you, you remind me of rock. You, you, you know what I mean? You're like my UK rock for me. You get me? Full of aggression and stuff like that. But then like now, out of battle mode, you get me very chilled and yeah. stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But for people that don't know you or fans of you that just see you battle, they will you think obviously man's on 10 all the time. You get me? Yeah. Like man's on 10 all the time. You get me? Um, yeah, so, so, you know, everyone's got angles. Well, a lot of people's got angles on them, right? Some people do, some people don't. And some people that do have angles, some of them angles stick, some of them don't. Some of them, they get used as metaphors, similes, um, and stuff like that. It could be in, in a form of disrespect or even respect or anything like that. So what's your thoughts on everyone using your your teeth angle because ever i've always heard it's about the teeth and then whispers i've always been hearing that a lot you get me so i feel like that's very big in the uk culture so how what's your thoughts on that because me personally i i i, I respect you for being you if that makes sense you get me because you know man the man will be so quick to want to go change up their appearance you know you get me man will be so quick yeah. to go change up their appearance you get me and by man not doing that, I just feel like it defines them. You get me? So what's your thoughts on you having that out there? People use your name in their battles. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? To me, if I was a battler, I would look at that shit as a compliment. You get me? Compliment, honour. You get me? I would anyway. You know what I'm saying? I would never take it as a disrespect. So, yeah, what's your thoughts on it? Um, um In regards to the last thing you said, yeah, uh, if my name's said in a battle that I'm not even in, and I'm not at the event either. Right. Um, do you know what I mean? For me, it's a compliment. It's uh, furthering my branding. It's right. furthering my audience. Because if I'm not there and I'm being mentioned, mm -hmm. and then that's mentioned in an interview about the battle, is it, my name's mm -hmm. going to travel further. So even if they're dissing me, not really that bad. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of the teeth, um, 
I, I went into battle rap understanding that if people have an angle or a method of attack, they're going to use it. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's right. a, it's a, it's an angle that can be seen. Do you know what right. I'm saying? You can see it. So I, I understand that people are going to use it. Mm -hmm. Do I? How effective I think it is is how effective I think it is. You can do it if five people do it in a row. Do you know what I mean? If ten people do it in a row, it will it will lose its effectiveness. And at this point, I think that's where it's at. Mm. I think I think you can get away with two lines, three lines, mm -hmm. but T Top's done a whole round about it. Mm -hmm. Unanimous done a whole round about it. Mm -hmm. Benny P in the process did a whole round about it. Mm -hmm. Cobra didn't do a whole round about it, but he spent the majority of the time talking about that. Right. So right. it's like now, if you do it, it's got to be on some existential level, or I don't really think it's gonna do you any like points for the battle. Right, right, right. So how how did you? So from you, Nan, because I see you got a bad boy resume. For I see Jerry West on there. I see T Top, uh, Kick Nelly, uh, uh, T Tech, Cash Kid, RX, Templar Surfer, Cobra, you, yep. you know, Benny P, M Maisie. Or Maisie, M E S S I E, and Zach. That's oh, what I see. There. Yeah, that's what I see there on your resume. You get me? That's a crazy resume, fam. So, do you feel like you're one of the top battlers in the UK right now? Because I do. I say you and Gem, top two for, for me. So, what's I your that. Um, I believe, uh, my own, from my own point of view. Mm -hmm. I'm second best in the UK. Right. That that's right. that that's my own personal belief. Someone asks me how good do you think you are? I mm -hmm. feel like considering everything right now, I'm second best in the UK and I can't be argued out of the top five. That's, no, no, that's, that's how right. I yeah, that's accurate to me. Yeah. Who do you have first? I I, I could put Gem there. So who do you have? I'll put Gemini there. He got yeah, better yeah. even though, you know, the awards that he won are kind of specific to one or two leagues. He mm -hmm. still won the awards against the opposition that he was up against. Mm -hmm. And he got a clean sweep on mm -hmm. all those awards. Got to be respected. He also just battled T-Top as well. Mm -hmm. I think I think he's probably fair to say he's number one in the country at the moment. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, one of his biggest things is that he can't travel, though. Okay. So okay. going forward, I can travel. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Um, that's that's a lot of people in the UK suffer from either not being able to travel or mm. having such living circumstances where traveling to America for just a battle is mm -hmm. quite like straining. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Of course. Of I've course. got to I've got to use that to my advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Yeah. So so how come that battle ain't happened, bro? Because to me, that's that's what needs to be done. That's what man wanna see. Whispers versus gem. Fucking box park, bricks and jam, something massive, massive like that. What are we saying? How come it ain't put together? What are we saying? Uh, it, it's something that could definitely happen in the future. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to rush it. Okay. Because at the moment, he's the only super fight that I have in the UK. Mm. So, you know, when something's done, it's done. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not really someone that's interested in rematching anyone at any given time. So when it's done, right. it's done. So right. interested, yes, but I'm, I don't want to rush it. I want him to go and do what he's supposed to do and take the title off Bizzle right. because that needs to happen. That needs to, that will shift the entire culture of battle rap in the UK to right. have a double champ. And right. then that will make our battle subsequently bigger. Right. Don't flop and, and flip in Premier Battles Champ against the face of members and a champion of No Loose Chat. Right, right. Now that's a fact. That's a fact. The salute to members as well. How how did you link up with members in that? Because obviously, if you was on No Loose Chat first and through the tournament, you Nam was on No Loose Chat as well. So how did you link up with members? Um uh, pick up to YD, first and foremost. He's been probably my best friend that I've made in UK battle rap. Right. And he's right. a large, um, obviously the largest contingent in members. Do you know what I'm saying? So as okay. soon as he decided he wanted to start that, gave him my full support, 
full uh, flexibility as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And we've put together crazy um, conceptual cards. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. All of the cards we've done, even though it's only two cards, three cards, sorry. Right. They've all been completely different and completely successful. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Now that's a fact. Okay, so you had all them battles in the UK. So from when you linked up with members then, so how, I was going to ask you, yeah, how did the US battles come your way? Like the T-Tops, like the Jerry, stuff like that. Was it then through the link up with members and that's when the U, uh, US battles started to happen for you? Or was you getting US battles before then? Um, I think one of the biggest helping factors is that I went to battle in the States. Okay, I battle, yeah? I went, yeah, I battled at Staten Island on the biggest card. Oh, actually, maybe the second biggest or the biggest card last year for I battle. Right. Um, he had Geechee headlining against the face of their league, Fable. You had right. Danny Myers battling. You had... Uh, Dre Dennis battling on the, right. the second day as well. It was a huge, huge, huge two-day event. Right. Um, and yeah, man, I, I got uh, got a few contacts there. Um, namely, Anderson Burroughs was probably the most important person that I met in the States. Right, okay. Um, he's got such a good insight into battle rap. And then obviously YD's got his connections. Other people have got their connections. We just all brought that together. Okay. And really? Um, I've got a shout out to Top. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because he he was. It's never easy to be the first, and mm -hmm. he was the first that came over and said, "You know what? Let's see how this is." We showed mm -hmm. how we are, and now we're moving. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, what was that? What was that like for you when you when that all got locked in? Like, you know, what I mean, you're battling T Top, someone that we've obviously watched. You get me? over the years growing up or before we was even battling that type shit so what was your thoughts when that was locked in um i was incredibly i've, I've never been that excited for a battle before mm -hmm. um, i've watched t-top throughout his entire entire career from pretty mm -hmm. much the beginning that he entered battle rap i watched him in that bet tournament i watched him against clips against surf against uh all all these like top top tier opponents do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he's um i think there's a lot of top tiers that have had like a bad downward spiral he's never really had that do you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. so he's definitely someone that had my respect and it was easy to write for him because of that right 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 so how did you feel like you done in that battle i feel like i did very well i feel like i won i'm not gonna lie Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like I got the first and I feel like I got the second as well. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like his second round was very good, mm -hmm. but the rebuttal killed it a little bit because okay. the whole round was, again, like I said, it was an angle on my teeth. Right. It was very well executed, but because he spent the whole round or about 90% of the round doing it, right. the way that rebuttal hit, it completely takes out the premise of his entire round. Mm -hmm. Then I've still got to wrap my entire round. So it was like, but it was a it was a fantastic back and forth. I got to finally see someone with some aura. I finally mm -hmm. got to be on the receiving end of like fam Holmesy was standing behind him, Coffee mm -hmm. was standing behind him. I felt like I was at like no. Right, right. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's where I need to get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you will get there, you know, along with Jem can obviously, so let me hopefully get straight with his travelling wise. Both of you, man, can get there, fam. Trust me, to me, it's you two that's waving the flag right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of that, I feel people were telling me they feel like they got t-top winning which even on that battle i actually feel like i had t-top winning too but you see the jerry battle i feel like you won but when i was asking people because i was in the building you know man was in the building right yeah. but man didn't get to chop it up with you because obviously man see you back and forth i knew he was battling that night but man saw you back and forth so even though man was there obviously getting interviews from people and whatnot i did not even get a chance to 
let you know, say, yo, you get me, man's here, whoop, 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 you get me, right? But when I asked people in the building who they got, they said they had Jerry, but I felt like you won too. You know what I'm saying? So what's your thoughts on people being like Jerry won and uh, T-Top won? Do you feel like there's a possibility of the translation? Do you feel like it's hard for the people to, for it to translate with the people, especially the American people? Because, you know, our accent's different. Um, um, not really. They have, um, there's a, there's a very big, like, obvious thing, which is that they have much bigger fan bases, right? Right. They've got sublime followings. Jerry, even though he's less popular than T-Top, he's from New York, where Battle Rap is the most popular. And obviously right. T-Top is the most popular Carolinian Battle Rapper of all time, by quite a distance. Right. But like, a lot of people saying that they won doesn't really worry me in the slightest. Um, as long as my performances give a good account of myself and like there's also a contingent saying that I'm winning as well for yeah. T-Top, a little bit less than the Jerry West battle. But in the Jerry West battle, a lot of people feel like it's a 30. A lot of people feel like it's a 2-1. But I've also heard a lot of people say that he won as well. Generally, that makes for good replay content, which is yeah. what I'm most concerned with at this given point. But when I went to the States, <laughs> different story. Okay. I wasn't just happy to be there. I had to make sure I left it all on the floor because winning meant more than anything else. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was someone that was on my level. It wasn't like a, a smack name or something. someone on my level that I needed to take his place. Right, right. So he was so, the, so what was the reception? What was the feedback that you got in the building when you went to America after your battle? It was it was really good. I'm not gonna lie. It was really good. I feel like personally I translated better in that room than any other room that I've been in. Yeah, but well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like there's a couple men. I feel like in the UK which can translate in the um, US, right? And I say Gemini is one of them too. I feel like he can as well because it's like I feel like I could tell the difference between the man them that grew up watching UK battle rap, so they don't flops back in the shot your horror era and all of that, to people that watch American battle, like grew up watching American battle rap, like I did. So when I hear man like you, hear man like Jem, even man like MK as well, yeah, from Southside. When I hear man like that, yeah, I hear automatically, yo, you man been studying, you get me? That, that battle rap, grew up off of that, you get me? Because the way you man rap, you just come across like, yeah, advanced, advanced, like to you, when it comes to UK battle rap, very advanced. So I, I know you, Jem, and MK would definitely translate well in America. That's a fact. Definitely. But, but, but I do have American friends and stuff. And when man obviously watch battles with them and chop it up and whatnot, that's the biggest thing for them is the translation, not, not catching shit, not understanding. You know what I'm saying? So I do feel like in the UK... There's not everyone, but there is still some people that, yeah, it's, the US is not able to grasp what they're saying, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Um, it's just ma mainly, I feel like it's it's reference points. I mm. feel like that's the main diff in America. Like, I was able, to, to be honest, I prefer it as well a little bit, but I was able to rap comfortably about anime. Um, wrestling and it's not that people in the uk don't like it but it's not a majority thing out here do you know what i'm saying boys mm. in the hood menace of society um all of these like films that they reference juice belly they reference scenes like that and yeah. everybody in the crowd knows what they're talking about you right. can't do that in the uk and but if you do do it in the uk you got to do it about something like standards yeah, he's in. Yeah, you gotta do about something like Love Island. Mm -hmm. gotta, so the reference points are like, but then Americans don't know nothing about Love, Love Island. Right? Of course, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like a, it's a balance of trying to get both. That's why in in the Jerry West battle, I knew after the T Top battle, I needed to do the same thing in the first round and come out swinging. 
Like, right. you, you can't leave it to the later rounds to start swinging. So I came out swinging. I was like, if you're swinging, you don't want a reaction from people or in the YouTube comments. That's not going to win you the, 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 the first round. Everyone in the room was from Britain, so I used football references. Do you yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, that, and, that, and that got me the platform that I needed to then make further references throughout the battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a fact. That's a fact. So a thing man like to do is a thing we call a bar breakdown, all right? So obviously, man, are going to play your three rounds from the battle between you and Jerry West, right? So any bars that you hear that you want to break down, just let tell man to pause it. Man will pause it. You can break it down. If there's anything, obviously, I hear that man will pause it. You get me? So you can break it down, all right? All right. All right, my guy. I need a gin to go. I'm from West London. Yeah. Uh -huh. Certified gang member. Fuck a diss track. If I stab Jerry and get blood on my Air Force, there'll be a mismatch and I'll have to get some mm. new Dior after I've dipped man. Mm. And if the blade I brought to Brixton Jam, let's see if he did that. Oh. Big shine. Well, explain that bar to man, the Brixton Jam. I know he was in Brixton Jam, but then the dig that part. Um, so there was obviously a few references to some dig that songs, Air Force, mm. I have to get some new Dior, all of that. And then in the previous battle I had with Unanimous, that was also Brixton Jam, mm -hmm. where I brought the prop. So that's mm -hmm. a direct callback to the last battle saying it's not going to go the same here <laughs> mm, right, <laughs> directly right. straight away out the gate do you know what i'm saying mm, out the gate nah, that's fair that's cold pierce his belly have him rattling i'm finna go hard pull a gun and give west nine it's mozart they gave me the scam guy they gave me the scam guy don't worry i'm way ahead of you because the only way to be a fraud artist is with a replica i'm not a you are mm -hmm. the way we afford out is a replica yeah that's crazy crazy yeah. uh-huh and that one's cold, obviously. You know what I mean? Fraud artists, you get me replica copying somebody else. You get me? So, yeah, man, hear that still. That's crazy. Crazy. Another URL nigga with a death wish. Ah. Don't worry, the weapon a dump. If you don't know about this 38, there's something special to come. I'm stepping it up on wreck and getting it done. You do well in them smack rooms. Let's see how you do in a medical one. I will be ah. with you. You do well in them smack rooms. Let's see how you do in a medical one. I will beam this guy. UFO, leave him high. Nine by nine, like a Sudoku grid, squeezing pipes. That's two guns, 40 in the desert. Jesus Christ, oh, 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 oh. Mm, uh, Yeah, it's been that bad, there, my guy. Uh, uh, for, for those. The Jesus uh, Christ bar, the Jesus Christ bar. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a famous story in uh, the Bible where Jesus spent obviously 40 days and 40 nights in the, the desert. Um, a bit rusty, but I think that story surrounds uh, the tradition of Lent. So if anybody participates in Lent, it's it's pretty old. But right. it's, a, it's also a double entendre with obviously a gun, two guns, 40 in the desert, right. like Jesus Christ. Right, so. right. That's crazy, crazy. I will, I will beam this guy. UFO, leave him high. Nine by nine, like a Sudoku grid, squeezing pipes. Two guns, forty in the desert. Jesus Christ, old school gunner. Left eight on his back, like Ian Wright. If Ian sight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Old school gunner, huh? Uh, so Ian, uh, so Ian Wright had that number eight, yeah. I ain't an yeah. Arsenal fan still, but you're Arsenal fan. Yeah, man, I'm a dude. No, I'm a United fan still. Uh, yeah, I'm saying it, I'm saying it not with pride still. I'm not I'm saying it we're not with pride right now, still. You get me? I'm not saying it with chest right now, still. I can't I hear you. I can't like I can't <laughs> <say>. <laughs> Uh -huh. I love that shit. I'm not. Old school.
Boom Gunner. Left eight on his back, like he a right. If he in sight, don't gamble your life when I'm packing, homie. Try your luck and get done worse for that bet than I from Tony. I was really. <laughs> Try your luck, I get done worse for that bet than Ivan Tony. I was really in Lancashire, busting sales, trying to turn draws. But enough about those shots in Burnley. Let me talk about the turf more. You ain't ever, you ain't ever, you ain't ever been caught on a cruise and had to spark takes. You ain't ever had to keep your team in the game with an arm like Suarez. You ain't ever. That's Jen right there, right? Is that yeah. Jen right there? Okay, cool, cool. Hold it down. Keep doing it. I said you ain't ever been caught on a cruise and had to spark takes. You ain't ever had to keep your team in the game with an arm like Suarez. You ain't ever been in a trap 10 days straight trying to market go kart in Manchester by the Etihad. I had to guard the Yola a match. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, explain that, man. Explain Nasty. That, man. Mm. Um, um, it's just it's a football scheme, but it's a just all, all double entendres with like drug shit, right. and it's like being a straight, uh, been in a trap ten days straight trying to market Yola. By that, uh, by the Etihad, I had to guard the Yola. Obviously, guard the Yola is mm -hmm. the manager that's of big, Man City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's it. But that's what I'm saying, man. See, when you say that, tell me about spoken word, and now I'm hearing back the rounds. I was like, I can hear it. Like you get me, like the intelligence in your bars. That's why everyone's going crazy all the time because the intelligence in your bars. So I mean, you say about the forty in the desert and Jesus Christ, but niggas ain't writing like that, you know. Yeah. Not writing like that, you know. Whispers, serious. Niggas ain't writing like that, you know. Pass awesome. a match with. I know you Americans laugh for the way we sound, but make fun of the way I talk, and it's an accent. You Big get up. me, you understand? What? What? I was going crazy in the what? Bro, that line so disgusting. It's so disgusting, and it's quite simple as well. To you, to you, it's simple, but fam, it's not, brother. It's not. So you spoke about obviously our uh, accent, but you said now nah, it's an accent like you're sending an act. You get me? An accent, yeah. then, but accent like come on, bro. Like, bro, I don't, bro, trust me. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't see no one clipping you in the UK right now, bro. I ain't see no one in the UK clipping you right now. I swear down, man, don't. <laughs> But make fun of the pass my medical a match with. I know you Americans laugh for the way we sound, but make fun of the way I talk, and it's an accent. Big ass accent. Go. I know you Americans laugh for the way we sound, but make fun of the way I talk, and it's action. Big ass hatchet, big ass hatchet. He can't telegraph where the axe is, so I added a gun. Hammer and a blade, I'm a blacksmith. It's lit, bro. It's lit, bro. I don't work. Lick off the lick, though. Bandos. House for the rock, like a flintstone. Oh, on that block, or I'll play, taking calls until my sim roll. So for battle rap, my first ever live was a brick phone. Oh. I'm talking shots at 3 a.m. I did it knock times out late, roaming with the rock. It's the bloodline of our you. So that wrestling scheme, huh? Wow. Rolling with the rock is the bloodline. What? Oh. what? That's nasty. What? Salute my proud chief. Soon come. Yeah, soon. soon come back in it. Soon come back. Okay, is he man? I'm a wrestling fan, yeah. I'm an absolutely huge wrestling fan. Mm, mm. The anger man used to be man, and they watch it from the age of like two still, but like. Over the years, obviously, you get me. I just don't feel like it's the same anymore. You get me. And I see what they're trying to do, like you know, bring back the blood and all that. You get me. The way obviously rocked out with Cody Rose and them thing there. You get me backstage in the parking lot. 
them kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, it felt like old school days again, kind of thing. You get me, but yeah, it just overall, yeah, it just don't feel the same anymore. I, I like the attitude era. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the best era for me. You get me? That was it right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everything was going down. Now, obviously, you know, because because we grew up off of that era, and obviously now they've cleaned it up a lot, and made it PG. That's just why it come across water down now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And while you was in Brooklyn, and while you was in Brooklyn scamming, worrying about who you told I was trapping, grabbing keys like us at the Super Bowl. Mm, grabbing keys like us at the Super Bowl. Bro, he's just getting absolute no for about this cat. Oh, yeah, he's getting. Yeah, at this point, he's just getting punched up, bro. He is, he is. He's just he getting is. punched up, bro. <laughs> he is. Now, he is so confirmed. When I, when, I, when I was in the building, I asked people, this is people from the UK, and they're in the building, yo, who you got? They tell me, Jerry. I'm thinking, huh, Jerry? Like, you get me? I'm thinking, what was you like listening to? Like, what? You get me? It's got to be right. a popularity factor thing, man. It's got to be, man, because it's my man. It must be, in it, car. Nah, yeah. but niggas can't really have Jerry. Man. Yeah, so, so whether it's so, so whether it's getting a record, grabbing a Z, nigga, weed run, squeeze and dump one suit, or put two in a queue, sound like I'm reading up. If he... One gun, or put two in a queue. Sound like I'm reading up. If he keeps this up, I'll snatch his gun, unload, reload, and keep blazing it. Literally, take the rocket from West. I'm Pete Davidson, and keep and keep spraying mm, shit. Take the rocket from West. I'm Pete Davidson. Huh? Take that ratchet bitch from Kanye, yeah, yeah, huh? But that's hey. what I'm trying to explain to you of how you get me, like niggas in the building. I didn't catch that. You get me, but <laughs> me watching it back right now, fam, is where man just caught that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, it's different, fam. Right, it's different. Right, it's different. With my element, I keep spraying shit with this metal. I be sold my element when I squeeze those. The irony, I use the cobalt. And now I'm in a box with a CO. He knows. So calm the passer, little bro, or get done for it. You look like you go gym, but fuck what you can bench. All I can lift is 140. It's time. Mm, I ain't gonna bro. lie, niggas slept on that cobalt bar, bro. I mean, I'm gonna say they slept, but that, that bar is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use the, the whole round was fire. Now the whole round was fire, fam. Different, different, different. That's one of my fam. best rounds, I think, that I've done. Done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, man, 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 man was had the privilege to be in the building to witness it. You get me first hand. Trust me, man. It was one of them ones. Trust me. Let's get into round two. I'll really put hands on you. Uh -huh. I ain't even got a spot the tool. <clears throat> Repeatedly beat the shit out. He won't know when it's over, like a Marvel movie or two. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, then Marvel's there. Uh -huh. I do remember they watch Avengers. I saw I did drop asleep in it, you know. I did drop asleep, you know. <laughs> Three hours what? Three hour joints. Nah boy, I can't do that, boy. Hell yeah. Long, long films. What? Hurricane Katrina pushes roof back. I don't know a lot about Rishi, but you got whispers in his prime, and it's the reason you're dying soon. Act two strap. You're gonna have to do more to convince me that you're not a poser, or I'm on your block solo adding some more in the clip. It's not so cold. Remember when I mm -hmm. said Roman with the rock? It's the bloodline. We're well, now gripping the 40. This ain't Brooklyn. 
Catch me on these roads, I'll finish the story. This shit is important. Cause you won't live to pass the next day. Cause what I uncover, dangerous. Copy that, Kakashi Sensei. Nah, cause you be on smack stages talking like you let Maddox bang, but I can't believe that. Till I see around, it's the black gun. I'll grab the shanks. I put like I'll grab the shanks. I put five in your back, they'll get left inside you. The shit hurts. Think you can survive this pain? Ox to Raya, something sharp inside you. Boy, I'll put you in a split and call it Almighty Kuss, but it's still pain. Grab the blade and give an Almighty push. The cannon blow repeatedly, but it's still Nagato because I saw him twice. Reanimated the pain like Kabuto. I'm at him, bro. Packing smoke. You think I can't end you? I and I'm sorry. Let's go. What's first? I'm at him, bro. Pack and smoke. You think I can't end you? But I'm stronger than the first Okage. So what do I send you? I don't I don't give a fuck when I say it's up and it's stuck for him. And if I catch you in the middle of these ends, they'll need a nun for him. Well, you in EFB, every fucking bar, we supposed to clap. I got a gun for him, and I'll run through every fucking bar and pub crawling. Every yeah, but I'm pub crawling. They don't know about that. They don't know about that. Huh? Going to every bar that's on the strip. They don't know about that. They don't know about it. Come on, every bar pub crawling. You get me? Crazy. And I'll run through every fucking bar. I'm pub crawling. Enough stalling. If I. Enough stalling. If I ain't got it, my homeboy will slide the matic this way. Have you ever had two, two, three bullets instead of nine mm bullets? That's the only time I ain't have what it takes a gap in the spray. If I catch a train, I'm ending this dude. The irony, you got shot on the underground and now you're being fed through a tube. I'm letting this shit <laughs> <laughs> mm, Explain that by my guy. I said if I catch him on train, I'm ending this dude. The irony, he got shot on the underground. Now he's being fed through a tube. Mm. Obviously in the UK, we call it a tube. In America, they call it, in most countries, they call it the metro. A lot of people right. call it the metro. But we call it the tube, you feel me? Right. Nasty, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, that chain shit. Thought that chain shit. I like that, man. I like that. <laughs> The irony, you got shot on the underground, now you're being fed through a tube. I'm letting it shoot, incorporating a knife with a gun, the shit proper, a bayonet, blade in the machine, it's a dishwasher. So I, okay, <laughs> bayonet, blade in the machine, it's a dishwasher. I know you thought you were about to come and wash whispers, but not in here. Because my theory is, if Jesus wept, then anyone can drop a tear. And I say that, and I say that to say, I say that to say this life is not boring. Because if I catch a body in Brixton Jam, they'll do the cop calling. All my niggas call me for guns. And if they need the stocks for it, fuck. Even A Ward had to turn to Isaiah for the Glock 40. I'm spurning. That bar right there. Mm -hmm. That bar right for if you if you're a battle rap fan, mm -hmm. that's probably one of the top two bars of the battle. Mm. If you really are a battle rap fan, that mm -hmm. is it. Because that's mm -hmm. this that's that line, yeah. Only only I can say it. It's yeah, literally but, a bar that only I can say. Yeah, but is it is it because that's your birth name, right? Is that your birth name? Yeah, my birth right. name is yeah. Isaiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah, that was cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was cool. Let's go. 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 I'm spurning hatred for this New York Yankee motherfucker acting like we ain't got burners waiting. I remember, you gotta remember, I'm from West London where we grab shanks and hurt with razors. I was on the bus with my niggas and we saw an Ops Warwick walking and had to jump up and stop early to murder them pagans. I had so many niggas hopping off that bus, they thought it terminated. I'm a. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we let bus reach the last stop? You get me? Everyone got to come up. You get me? But explain that to the people still. Um, <laughs> that's oh uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. It's the uh, I was on the bus with my niggas. You feel me? Mm-hmm, Lord mm-hmm. of Vegas. They had to mm-hmm. jump off and stop early. But when mm-hmm. 20 niggas are hopping off the bus, it looks mm-hmm. like it's garbage. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. Fire. And the thing is, even Americans will get that to a yeah. degree. Niggas yeah. hopped off the train on niggas. <laughs> yeah, see. yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like, because the way you speak is very, and like you said with the spoken word, like it's very clear. Every word's pronounced properly, all of that stuff. So that's why you're very easy on the ears. You get me? People will understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Clear, yeah. clear as day. Clear as day. And if you ain't seen whispers on the 99th level, then let's see if you can have a bar. Oh, I'm finna go super say the lead fly. Arm in his face, I'll swing a tech by. And that'll be another nigga flying without wings when I take West Life. Explain that West Life, buddy. Um, first of all, whether you think I won or lost. That's the bar of the battle. Mm. That, that's one thing I won't have up for debate. Right. Whether I won or lost, that's the line of the battle mm-hmm. like, from both people. But, um, yeah, man, Westlife, I don't even know where they're from, but they're a popular group right. from, from back in the day skis. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and that was one of their most popular songs, Flying Without Wings. Wings. Right. Uh, obviously, Westlife, Flying Without Wings, yeah, 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 and, it, yeah, and his name Jerry West, isn't it? Yeah, so mm-hmm. that was crazy, crazy. Hey, hey, you see the story, huh? That you see that nigga in the the beige jacket? Yeah, that I just walked up to that guy right there. Yeah, his uh, his name is Hacker, and that that whole Hacker Bar special move is 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 from him. Okay. So we made that up together outside college like 10 years ago. Oh, Way that's that's I started weird. battle rap and he was like, that day we was like, yeah, bro, we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now we're here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. And shout out to um, your guys still because obviously my man been rocking with you from then mm-hmm. till now. You get me? And you know what it's like? It, uh, it, niggas are fake, all sorts of niggas, snake niggas, all sorts. You get me? Jealousy, envy. So, this year, guy with you from college days till now, man, I have to salute that still. Man, respect that. Shout out to your guy, man. I'm finna go super say the lead fly. Arm in his face, I'll swing a tech by. And that'll be another nigga flying without wings when I take West Life. I'm oh! with- The leg fly, arm in his face, I'll swing a tech by, and that will be another nigga flying without wings. When I take West Line, I'm real crazy. Big blade of the steel waving. I come down, this nigga saying, please stand up, like a real shady. I'm riding through. Please stand up. I'm riding. I'm riding.
through. Ready to put Jerry in a blender or made this guy approve. Cause all I need is that, which is the key ingredient. I have knew. I caught him in his hotel chilling. I caught him in his hotel chilling. I, I caught him in his hotel chilling. I surprised him with my presence. Like I am screwed. And you know, I have a dog through a pickable attack. I see you. <laughs> That was fire. So, well, so, yeah, so how do you feel about your second round? Uh, yeah, I feel very good about it. Um, I feel like it did heat up towards the second half of the round. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, man, it was, yeah. For me, those two, those first two rounds are not debatable. For me, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for my line. So it must have been in the third round. I'm still waiting for my bar. But I feel like it was the bar of the battle. I'm still waiting for my bar still. So because I ain't heard it yet, it must have been in the third round. Still, must have been in the third round. But it goes okay. to show you had fire material in all three rounds. You really did. You really did. Haymakers, everything. You get me? All three mm -hmm. rounds. <laughs>
This shit could not go to our ultra instinct. Hold the smithing. If I give Jerry a head or pistol whip, it's up for West. Come but like Brentford and QPR. Club in West. Look what I've done to us. Okay, okay, okay. Look what I've Look what I've done to West. If I give him a headshot in his whip, there'll be large splatter. Shit will look like a stone cold entrance. Broken skull on the screen. Glass shadow. I'll dump. I'll dump the tech. Fuck if this. I'll dump a tech. Fuck it. Fuck if this man flex. Sell a clip at your caught him sightseeing a London bridge, setting pictures up. Then I caught him again at Tower Bridge and said, Nah, nigga, I'm a aim and finisher. And the next bridge you finna take to Terra Bithia. I am. Aye, aye, it's fine time. If I glide, he might die. That's two guns for the nigga from Brooklyn. Nine, nine. I already told you. Brooklyn, nine, nine. Mm -hmm. Cookie. That's two guns for the nigga from Brooklyn. Nine, nine. I already told you. This ain't the Springer show. I'll bang the weapon. And the next time you hear Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, go be the paramedic. I'm you talk crazy, cold cadence. Now you grab weapons to get heads, but that same way you be scamming niggas, go be the same way you headed to get stretched. I'll give you a one way road to heaven when I'm airing the next tech. Cause the only way to do my numbers on this card was to send an American Express. I'm a yeah. What's the send an American Express? So fuck Robin a tank. I'm a so fuck Robin a tank. If it's us against them, you go see blades gas heads. They go think my niggas non-binary the way they slash them. And it's, ah! and it's for salty every battle, you know. Yeah! Yeah, that was a code for that one. Code three rounds. Code. So, so yeah, so I hear you say about this Versace thing, and I noticed that with the Versace. So, is that your thing, yeah, Versace every battle? Yeah, man. Uh, I like Versace clothes. Mm -hmm. I like other brands are available, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I do like Versace a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah that area, that area, that Versace way was lit back then, too. It was, it was lit. It was lit. Yeah, man. You know, you know who made Versace popular was it was it was Biggie, man. He's the one that mm -hmm. made Versace truly popular. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, what what what's your plans then for the rest of the year? I got, any battles lined up for the rest of the year? I've got two more battles. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Is you to share or you're not able to share yet. I can I can share as much as the next battle. The opponent is locked. Mm. it's in september um around so and i'll be battling once more after that i can't disclose too much about the, the second battle but i'll be battling twice before the end of the year right and then next year um i've already got like plans from now do you know what right. i'm saying yeah so speaking of next year then who is on your hit list who would you want to see next year so i want to achieve five specific things, I want one intergender battle. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that's just another way of tapping into the female audience of battle rap right. for more exposure, expansion. And they'll offer a different type of threat. Although I'm performance heavy, I'll still have to be like, I don't know, I might have to, do you know what I mean? It will, it will pose a different kind of challenge. Right. I need one super tier battle rapper. So right. basically someone who about 90% of the people should say that I would lose against. Right. Should say. Like right. if, if I get booked against Tay Rock tomorrow and that poll goes out, that poll should be 95% in his favor and big up to my niggas that make up that five. Which, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. I, need, I need a battle of that caliber and then I need to travel to America at least twice mm -hmm. before. All right. So remember, I did tell you, I said that I did interview Danny Myers, right? I interviewed Danny Myers, right? And I got a league in it, a virtual, well, a virtual league, but man's obviously coming outside this year in it in the UK, right? But Danny Myers said 
under interview that he would be willing to battle you. So what's your thoughts on Danny Myers? Does he fit the criteria of a super name for you? Um, He's a huge name. Right. I'll give him that. He is a very, very uh, popular battle rapper, obviously. Right. Very skilled as well. Super tier, I would probably say not. But he's right. so good. That's obviously the battle that I would, do you know what I mean, be interested in. I'll smoke okay. his boots though. That that's what he doesn't know. I'll smoke right. his boots. Like right. I'll, yeah. But yeah, that's calm. I like I said, he said it. You get me, you said you're with it, he with it. So we we'll definitely chop it up behind the scenes. You get me? And definitely make that happen. Definitely that's that's a fact. You get me? So is there anyone in particular then like that you want to battle next year, like from the UK? um next year i do feel like the gemini battle probably does have to happen at some point even if it's later in the year right. i feel like after that point we i i don't know it might just be impossible for calendar reasons and other stuff like that do you know what i mean where he's doing right. something i'm doing something he's doing something because also he's a double champion right. do you know what i mean and I don't really think anyone's good enough. I mean, sorry, when he becomes double champion, I don't think there's anyone good enough really to take the belts from him for the next year and a half. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? And even if I bow him, it won't be on Don't Flop or Prem. Right. For right. one of those belts. It will just be a one-off battle. So Right. 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 I do think okay, next year. so so what about Shotty? I don't think so. He wants to battle me still. It's okay. too much of a risk for him. Mm -hmm. uh, like he, he, what he gains from beating me is not really that much in terms of where he is. Mm -hmm. What I gain from beating him in a battle is, is probably quite monumental. Mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. exactly what's going to happen as well. Mm, okay, but it will be something that you're with. All right. So, what about villain? I say he's a legend. You get me old school villain. I would say probably not. Okay. Okay. I would say probably not. Okay. Okay. You know MK, yeah. You know MK. Yeah. Yeah. What about MK? He, I say he's been doing his thing lately, wrecking shit too. He's to me, he's the next one up as well. I was saying years to come. He's gonna be up there with you, man. Too. I would say he would be more of a distant future investment because, although it's not really his fault, that battle with Surfer was quite important for me to see where he is. Because right. for me, he should be winning that battle. I don't know what the consensus is, but right. for me, he should be winning that battle because I think he's better than Surfer. Right. Do you know what I mean? But if somehow he managed to lose. Then I'm looking at him like you need another year or so before I can even mm. think about this. Mm. If he wins that battle in dominating fashion, then yeah, maybe we can have a look at some stuff in the right. maybe summer or something. Right. You know? Okay. So you are aware of him and what he's all right. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. That's lit, man. That's lit. Now, nah, man, like I said, fam, I wish you all the best, my brody, man. I appreciate you pulling up. Yeah. And I wish you all the best. You get me? And you get me? Definitely got my support. And you get me, we definitely chop it back up again, do another bar breakdown, you know what I mean? As you continue to do your battles and that, you get me? So, yeah, man, we're here. Pull up, reach out anytime. Feel free to pull up anytime, you know what I'm saying, my guy? I want to appreciate you pulling up, my guy. Oh, man. Salute uh, what you've got going on. Salute the podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll see you at the next event, my brother. Yeah, yeah, that's the fact, my bro. I right, appreciate you, my guy. Salute. 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 So there you have it, my guy. Whispers, you know what I mean? One of the top two battlers in the UK right now. Him and Jem, you know what I mean? So, guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you set your notification bell for when we next go live or when we next upload. And the big announcement coming very, very soon. We don't chase clout. It's strictly business we're about. Salute. Juice. So baby girl, show me what you can do So wine for me, wine for me My girl, take time for me, time for me